Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today we're going to make the Gremlin Ski Mask, or a robber mask, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to continue this little saga of doing extra accessories for the neck of Gremlin, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to make the mask Gremlin. Uh, this is one of the most requested uh, Gremlin uh, accessories that uh, people have wanted. Um, I myself wanted to do this one from a very long time. Besides this uh, popcorn one, this is uh, another one of my favorites. Uh, this little popcorn thing. If you guys haven't seen a tutorial on how to make this little popcorn mask, please go uh, into my channel. Uh, subscribe and you guys can see my videos and you guys can see how I made this little popcorn mask for this Gremlin. Anyways, besides that, um, I do want to make the mask and the way I'm going to make it is with a sock. Um, so uh, let's get right into that tutorial, shall we? Alright guys, so um, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is that um, in the movie, I don't know what happened to the ears. I don't know if they pulled the ears back. If you guys can see a picture of it, um, they it looks like they took away the ears. But I'm not gonna do that, of course, because um, it's way too expensive to be taking out the ears and then buying a new one. You know, so I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around. Um, this first take um, didn't work out. <laughs> it was, but I mean, nobody's really done a mask for these guys. So it's all trial and error, you know. Um, like most of what art is, is just trial and error, you know. Just make it to whatever, uh, whatever you can. Um, so I tried just measuring around it and try cutting out the sock. But unfortunately, um, when I cut out the sock holes, um, the sock kept taking apart. I should have known that was gonna happen, um, but I just went with it. Like I said, it's just like the prototype. I just wanted to see what I could get away with. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So we get. So this is me cutting out the piece. So I try to cut it at, like the Exacto knife at first, but I didn't want to ruin my toy or my collectible, I should say. <laughs> so I just um, I just wanted to mark out where everything was at and then cut it afterwards. The scissors, the scissors are pretty cheap at 99 cent store scissors so make sure you guys get some, get yourself some good scissors because the uh, 99 cent store scissors really really suck. Anyways, um, so I ended up cutting up and see how it kind of fell apart right there. So it just didn't look right. Um, so I had to redo the whole thing all over again. I just decided to go uh, one of the eyes didn't fit, so I had to like uh, make sure the eye fit and try to adjust it. But it, it didn't really work out for me, so I just scrapped the whole thing. Just said forget about it. Uh, luckily, I still had a piece from another project I was doing, and um, I just thought just wrap it around like so. Like I said, like and it works out because the ears could go around it like that. Um, if you look, for, if you look at it from the front. Um, that's basically how I'm gonna set it up. You're just gonna look at it from the front. Uh, I'm sure people will look at it from the side, but um, when I display this guy, he's just gonna be facing forward anyway. So um, the whole ear thing was um, a problem because I don't know. It, to me, and on the on the picture, it looks like uh, they took out the ears. So here I'm just gluing the the eyeballs and around the mouth. That way, when I cut it out. Um, they won't fall apart like I did the first time. That's why it's good like to have errors and stuff like that and uh, you learn from your mistakes, you know? Especially in art. That's what it's all about, just learning from your mistakes. In life in general, you just learn from your mistakes and stop doing your mistakes and learn from it. So anyways, um, as you can tell, it felt pretty... It, it fit pretty well. Uh, I like it and then um, I had to glue it to the back uh, to where a point where I could take it off if I wanted to take it off. But generally, I'm gonna, you know, keep this mask on this dude for now, because I'm gonna display him. Because I really like this mask. 
and this, this is one of the characters that stood out the most uh, in part one so um, I'm gonna keep the mask on this guy so um, I just glue the back together and then um, so yeah so the ears can fit through there and oh, there's your little mask your little ski mask um, and then I have to paint it uh, the colors that had on the movie so here are the colors and then I just paint it over um, I had to wait until it dried up a little bit and then go over it again and then let it dry up and then go over it again I think I went over it like a good four or five times with each paint um, how many of you guys are excited for the new uh, gremlin that's coming out for uh, uh, the, the GameStop exclusive one it's gonna be pretty cool I mean it has a popcorn thing I already made the popcorn thing if you guys haven't seen that go check out the rest of my channel my rest of my videos and you guys will see that I made a popcorn uh, bucket for one of the gremlins and um, at the end of all the tutorials I'm gonna do for the gremlins uh, accessories I'm gonna like set up all my gremlins together and you guys can see um, all the stuff that I did for, um, for this guy I just wanted to see how every time I painted it there's still white spots all over the place so I had to keep painting it over and over again um, like I said if anybody knows what they do with the ears uh, please let me know in the comments down below I would love to know what what happens to the ears? Do the ears stay in there? Do the ears like did they did they take out the ears and fold the ears in the back or something? Dude, I can't fold the ears on this character or this toy because well you just can't do that with this toy. <laughs> it's, not, it's not meant to do that. So I couldn't do that and I really didn't want to take off the ears. I didn't want to mess it up, you know. So this is the finished product. It's all painted. So you guys can see it's still a little white spots here and there. Uh, I had to go over it afterwards anyways, so try to fit it in really nice but um, it's really hard to put on <laughs> it was really really hard to put on and so um, uh, I noticed that on the top it had it was too squished down um, so what I had to do was fill it in with a piece of uh, paper and so uh, at the end product it, it looks a lot better um, the top part is like sticking out a little bit better so um, you guys can see all the little white spots all over the place I had to refill everything like that um, I just had to fit it to where the eyeballs were showing through the eye sockets um, and then pull the ears back so uh, it's not complete without the without a gun I know my fingers are like super dirty but uh, I've been working on a whole bunch of projects at the same time <laughs> and I had crazy glue on my fingers and my fingers got stuck and then I painted and so the paint got stuck to the crazy glue which was attached to my fingers anyways here I'm using polymer clay and I'm just trying to shape the general shape of a I guess it's a six shooter or a revolver whatever you want to call it um, this is the one he has on the movie so I just try to shape it general shape and then after it's nice and baked uh, for those of you who don't know polymer clay you could bake it and once you bake it it gets like super hard and then I could like sculpt it to whatever shape I want which works out a lot easier for me at least but I mean if you guys are good with polymer clay and you guys could shape it then um, whatever floats your boat you know um, this is what's the easiest way for me so this is what I did uh, the only problem was that I ended up uh, chopping off the the hammer. It's a little thing in the back. I ended up chopping that off when I was sculpting it. So um, you guys see at the end, it's not there anymore. So, so there it is. It's all nice and sculpted. I baked it. It's all nice and sculpted. And now uh, I'm painting it all with the uh, with primer so I could hold the paint a little bit better. And then I'll go back in with some silver and the handle will be black so uh, it's, uh, I was gonna leave a little trigger in there as well but um, 
if I put the trigger in there, it wouldn't, the, his whole hand wouldn't fit in there, yeah. So, I skipped on the trigger. But if you guys like these little tutorials, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Like, it, it, it helps me out a lot. Like, let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, is, there, is there a particular gremlin that you guys want to see? Um, there is two other little uh, DIYs that I did that I'm going to film. Well, I already filmed them. Uh, I just have to edit them and upload them. But if there's any other gremlin thing that I missed and that you guys want to see, let me know. In the comments down below and then um, I'll be more happy to oblige so uh, this is me just painted with a silver paint so yeah if you guys are watching still watching this far in please don't forget to subscribe guys it helps me out I'm trying to get to a thousand um, so I can start getting paid <laughs> It's like I could actually make some money off this this channel. Um, uh, so yeah, this is me painting the hand, the handle of it all black with the black uni. Uh, the uni wasn't working all that great; it was drying up on me. So all right, so gun is done. Uh, that's as good as I get for now. And for the big reveal, dun, 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 there he is. So let's put this gun in his hand. It cannot work his thumb here. And there was his finger. There we go. And there it is, guys. All in. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like it. What do you guys think? the new gremlin abandoned gremlin um this one was a little bit harder to do than all the other ones um by far this is the most complicated one but uh this is the most fun <laughs> i had fun doing it like i said um on the original one they took off the ears um so you can't really see the ears on the original one so i'm not gonna do this to this toy because it's way too expensive to be doing that to this toy but other than that, um, there you go. I got the masked gremlin. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And like I said, you guys, if you guys don't want to make a gun yourselves, you guys could always go buy one at a toy shop or something, you know. Uh, I'm sure a toy comes with a revolver or a six shooter or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I just made it fit in his hand. And there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, guys, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe uh, for more content. Like I did, like I said, I'm doing a little saga of this whole little uh, extra accessories for the NECA Ultimate Gremlin. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys subscribe. <coughs> I'm sorry. Make sure you guys subscribe and go look at the other videos that I made on the other accessories for the NECA Gremlins. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys do subscribe, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.